this year's musical is Heather's. Any questions? Thank you. Roll sound, please. Greetings, Heather's family. I was very stoked when I found out we were having a musical episode again. Riverdale with song and dance. This year, the kids of Riverdale High have gotten together to do the musical Heather's, which is, of course, based on the very famous black comedy teen movie from the late 80s. What's not to love? It's Riverdale plus Heather's. Like, it's such a cool collaboration. There is Cheryl Blossom floating above it all as Heather Chandler. Was I familiar? Heather's is one of my top five favorite films of all time of all time. So when I found this out, I shrieked. I thought it was a perfect fit for our show. A lot goes into making the musical episode. You have to learn these dances. I mean, I danced for 16 years professionally, so it was just very fun. Yeah, there you go. I love being on stage, so getting to do anything where we're actually on a stage and in a theater is always fun. It's exciting because Cole didn't sing in Carrie the Musical. And when we did Heather's, I kind of said, you know, Cole, I'd love it if everyone one sang, and he agreed. Yeah. First of all, that was incredible. Yeah. I'm like totally ready to see that. That was really, really great. Maggie, who's directing this episode, is fantastic and has a great vision. And I think some look really cool from the shots that I've seen. Cut, cut, beautiful. Great job, Cutting. guys. I mean, listen, the cast is amazing. Everyone in the cast is a great singer, and they're amazing. They're they're all wonderful actors. I think viewers should expect complete hysteria and madness. Cat fights, sass. Tears. It's just a really fun episode. You're gonna love it. That's the spirit. We'll start with some simple steps. My Heathers and I have worked out our own choreography. Heather's The Musical is set in a high school and of course has iconic characters and iconic lines. I was shocked by how funny it was and I was shocked by how nasty it was. Tony has some fantastic choreo. How very. Yeah, the choreography was a big part of the show. It has to look flawless, it has to look effortless. We have a great choreographer, Heather Laura Gray. She did Carrie last year, and we had her back to do Heather's. Our choreographer, Heather, is awesome. Heather's been very patient. She's constantly there with us, working on the choreo and, and making sure that we're feeling comfortable with it. So easy to work with, and she can break it down for you in any way that you need. Yeah. Well, it gives this nice line, like from here we're gonna see that movement more clearly. Beautiful. So we have 13 different characters that we're uh, trying to fit in rehearsals with, so it's been very dynamic. <laughs> but we don't actually necessarily see everybody for each number until we're shooting. What I do is I take a skeleton crew of dancers, so the minimal amount of dancers, and then I work on them as if they were the characters. All I got were videos of her and her dancers, and that she said, we're thinking of doing that, and I was like, great, do that. I really like to, you know, rely on the writing and the characters' motivations for what choreography they're doing. We rehearse whenever we can, whether it's on set or after we're done shooting or before we go to set. We've had a lot of dance rehearsals ahead of time and making sure everyone felt good about the material before the day that we film it. Yeah, I would say the actors that I'm most surprised by are Lily, Mads, and Cammie. They have been working their butts off to put this big number together. Cut, cut, cut. 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 All right. Cheryl, Veronica, Betty, candy store, set in costumes already. Go get changed. We have a wonderful costume designer. She's been with us since season one, Rebecca Sorensen. These musical episodes, they have the same amount of prep, they have the same amount of budget, but they have to pull off these extravaganzas. Now it's time to dig deep. Riverdale High is putting on Heather's the Musical, which is a late 1980s movie and Broadway play. How do I, as a designer, try to do something that, you know, has our stamp on it, Riverdale, uh, but still gives the same feel. So it's all about kind of the details of the late 80s, the high collared button blouses with the brooches, flat skirts, knee high stockings. So we brought all those things into our version while we try to keep the silhouette and the style of the Riverdale world. Um, did you have a lobotomy for breakfast? 
You're wearing my signature color. Colors play into their characters. Heather Chandler with Cheryl Red. Power. I am red. This is Cheryl's color. She owns the color. Then you have Heather Duke Betty Green, which is the color of money. Then you have the yellow, a color of freshness. We have Josie. We just brought the same kind of silhouette where she had a fun skirt from the 80s, high top with an oversized cardigan. You know, she and her team, there's so many cast members to dress. It's kind of amazing what they pulled off in a week. It's so neat to see everybody just like come together and then seeing the finished product. It's very rewarding. How beautiful. It's 10 minutes to places, cast. Thank, Thank you, you 10. 10. The folks are gone. It's time for Big Fun. Big Fun, we're up till dawn. Happy song, Big Fun, Big Fun. We have a great team working on the songs. Uh, on Riverdale, we have Leonard Jackson and Ryan Peterson. They do all our songs throughout the season. But once a year, Ryan and uh, Leonard don't sleep. Because we're working on TV schedules, it, it, stuff has to happen quickly. So everything from building the track, recording the vocals, through th through the whole process. Yes, till final mix. My God, it's beautiful. A lot of the stories in, in Heather's echoed stories we've told on Riverdale, so it felt like a really good fit. When you're doing a musical like this, it's so important for us yeah. to know what's happening in each of these little moments and make these songs work with our characters. All hope is gone, I'm a dead girl walking. So on Dead Girl Walking, on the original musical, it has this bouncy guitar part, and Leonard and I decided we're gonna darken it up, we're gonna like do these big bombastic tom beat on the drums, and also it's gonna really help sell the emotion of what Tony's trying to say better. And she absolutely killed it. I float in a boat in a raging black ocean. Lifeboat was particularly special because Cammie went through the song, sang it beautifully, and hit every single moment to the point where she's actually breaking, you can hear her voice break emotionally in a couple places. What you hear in the final is one take all the way through. It hasn't been altered at all. We're so thankful to be able to work with the show and this amazing cast and, and have all these worlds come together and, and create something new. Baby.